This week for Movie Club Strikes Back, Bax selected the film Donnie Darko for review, which admittedly is more interesting to talk about than Adventures in Babysitting. Uh, and to start off, this is not one of my favorite films. I'm at most lukewarm on this one. And not because I think it's a bad movie. I think it's actually pretty good. It's just not one that speaks to me. Uh, it does have its good points. It does have its bad points. Uh, but overall, uh, I think they made the movie they wanted to make. It's just not one that everybody can really relate to. Now, I think it's a little too easy to say people don't like this movie because they don't get it. Yeah, it is complicated, but it's not so con convoluted that somebody's going to get lost, and that's why they don't like it. I think this is just one of those ones that some people just don't react well to. And I don't think there's anything wrong with an ambiguous movie. I, I like ambiguous movies. Uh, but when a movie needs cliff notes for you to really get it, you you've got a problem. And there are really kind of two ways you can look at this one. Uh, one, you know, alternate dimensions, parallel timelines, that kind of thing. Or two, it's just the crazy dream of a paranoid schizophrenic. Uh, either, either interpretation really works, uh, but if you look at kind of how they wrapped the movie up, they were really going for the uh, alternate timeline. That, that was the story they wanted to tell, and sometimes it's just a little weak for me. Now, I did like the story, or at least the idea behind the story. And I think it was a really interesting idea to kind of to tackle. The problem was, it would, because of the type of story it is, just with uh, the breaks in reality and you know the convoluted timeline and that sort of thing, it was going to be really tough to tell cinematically. And it was probably a little too ambitious for a first-time director. Uh, not to say he did a terrible job. Like I said, I think the movie's OK. Uh, I just think it was a really tough story to tell the first time you're directing a movie. So yeah, it was a little ambitious, uh, and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of ambition, but I think that's probably why a lot of people don't get this film, is because it's got some director directorial challenges. That being said, I think there's some things this movie did really well. I mean, it ties itself together really well. You see these common elements, these themes that it keep repeating themselves throughout the film. And I think that was very consciously done, and I think it was very well done uh, by the, the director and his team. And it does touch on some interesting ideas, at least topics I find really interesting, uh, just for the nature of you know time travel and causality, uh, free will versus determination, stuff like this, which they kind of touch on, uh, but again, due to the kind of nature of the film and how they're telling the story, they don't really explore. They ju it's just kind of there, and you kind of have to chew on it on your own, which isn't bad, but it's like they're they're not getting at an element to the story. Uh, it's a missed opportunity, in my opinion. I think the biggest problem I have with this film is just the character of Donnie Darko himself. I think he's an interesting character, and I think uh, Jill and Hall played him the way he needed to be played, uh, but I just don't get invested in him. Uh, he's, he's a smart kid. Uh, yeah, he's got some anger issues, and yeah, he's got some psychological issues, uh, but his life's not that bad. It's not that tough. But he's approaching it with such a melancholy attitude that I just can't get any sympathy or empathy for him. And since I can't get invested in him, I don't get that invested in his story. Sure, it's tragic, and I'm not going to belittle that point. But, but for me, and maybe this is why the movie just doesn't speak to me, because I just don't feel anything for the, the protagonist itself. So this movie is worth the watch uh, at least once, uh, probably two or three times, just to make sure that you catch everything you need to catch. Uh, I've watched it about three times now, uh, once when it first came out, uh, then probably shortly after that just to kind of rehash it, uh, and then this last time was this past week for Movie Club. And yeah, my opinion really hasn't changed that much on it, uh, but it is worth the watch, uh, particularly because it might be, you might be one of those people it will speak to. Uh, and if you are, then you're probably going to really like this film. So that's my review for this week's edition of Movie Club Strikes Back in the film Donnie Darko. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to, uh, but go ahead and check out all the other reviews the other movie clubbers have done, uh, particularly those who really like this film because they're probably going to give you some better insights than I have. Uh, but until next time, keep doing what you do.